Hi, this is Sarah Mikesell with The Pig Site, and today we're here with Jim Long. He is the president and CEO with Genesis Genetics. Thanks for being with us today, Jim. My pleasure, Sarah. Appreciate uh, your time today. We're here at World Pork Expo in Des Moines, Iowa, and uh, let's talk about the usual stuff we always talk about, Jim. Tell me a little bit about the swine industry. We'll start in the United States and then kind of move to the international markets. Okay, very good. Uh, my perspective on it is you know, we're in an industry today that's lost a lot of money. Yeah. Okay, It's the reality of it. You can look at it as any dot data would say the industry lost thirty dollars a head for about 18 months and today we've creeped over break even so nothing's really happening that's correcting the issue um, we're in an industry that isn't growing it's still contracting in my opinion uh, we have a situation where there's no optimism uh -huh. it's like people are in the business because they're in the business right. and you're a sense of being marooned okay and you know there's no exit strategy we're kind of going through the motions we have a degree of hope by nature pork producers are optimistic people but it's the optimism is really being challenged right today and it's the grim reality where we are i mean i'm an optimistic person right. i believe the market will get better but sometimes you wonder if you're delusionary right. so anyway that's that's my perspective on the u.s today very good. Do you see an opportunity in 2025 for more of a turnaround at least? I believe it will, will decrease. I mean, the, the supply will decrease. Right. We're going to see less pigs in China, which will help exports. Okay, okay we're already starting to see that in China. Um, I, I'm optimistic. I think the market where you've looked at lean hog futures today, they're undervalued to where they will be. Okay, the profit will be better than it reflects today. I think cost production will stay similar. You know, I traveled out here. The corn crop looks pretty good. It's raining. It, I mean, it's, you know, the, the conditions so far are pretty conducive to a good crop, which helps the cost of production. I guess the one thing I look at as an industry, which is, you know, not going to be fixed by 2025, is we have to change what we produce. We're producing pork that the consumers aren't ready to pay for. You look at the beef price today, it's wholesale beef price is $3.10 a pound pork's a dollar a pound. Consumers are voting with their money that they want to eat beef. Why? It's probably because of taste. So as an industry, we have to have a revolution to change what we're producing for the consumers. And we can do that, and we need to do that, because what we're doing isn't working. We have to change, and it's, it's going to take time, and it's a challenge. But if we want to be a viable industry, we got to give what consumers want. we got to be marketers, not farmers. Very good. Well, let's switch gears, Jim, because you talked a little bit about China just a few minutes ago. Let's talk about what's going on around the world. Okay, China. China's lost money similar to the United States. They lost $30 a head. And, and you, you know, there's always in China, you know, the data is a little you know give or take a couple million sows like you know yeah. that type of thing but if you look at the public companies that put out financial statements they've lost billions of dollars okay so that in my mind that's a reflection of the industry they've lost money the hog price in china was 14 rmb a kilogram last week it got to 18. so that's a pretty significant increase and in my mind that's just a reflection of less pigs and it's part of that liquidation that was ongoing so 18 RMB is like a dollar 15 US a pound. Uh -huh. If producers were getting that here, they'd be walking around here on cloud nine. So, right. I mean, it's all relative, but that's gonna pull pork. If there's less pork there, there'll be pork go there, which will be price supportive. Very good. And what other countries are making news from your perspective, Jim? Well, if you look at the other major block that produces pigs, it'd be Europe. And really they're just treading water. There's a lot of rules, regulations, efforts to decrease pig production going on, and they're, they're just going to go nowhere, and their cost production is higher. I, that's, that's how I see it. I mean, there's still, good, still a, huge mark, a huge production base. They got over 10 million sows, so they're still significantly bigger than the United States, but it's not growing. What about Brazil, Jim, when you think about, like, I guess Latin and South America, but, but Brazil is always marketed as the breadbasket, right? Sure. I think Brazil will be the major competitor for North America long term in exports. 
they have a competitive cost of production because they have the grain, they have the technology, they have the mindset to do it. Uh, you know, they got some issues, logistics, transportation, there's other issues they got, but you, in my, my opinion, you can't, I, I would look at Brazil as the long-term competitor for North America. And what are their prices like? Like, are they making money right now? Uh, I don't know exactly what their cost of production is, but I, I, my sense is they're about break even. Yeah. They have they have a little cheaper feed, but the price of pigs is lower, so I would say give or take about a break even. Very good. So they're not getting rich. Right, right. And what about African swine fever virus? You know, we think about not just China, but uh, the Philippines and Vietnam are still battling with that. Is that uh, have they found? From your perspective of the vaccine starting to kick in, is there any benefits from that yet? I I think from what I understand from the vaccines, they really don't work. Okay. okay. They actually cause more trouble because then the one advantage when you get African swine fever, you can go test and pull. Like it doesn't move fast in herd, they can go test right. and pull the pigs out. And uh, we've seen customers that have been able to go in, test and pull out those pigs, and the rest of the herd stays negative. If you vaccinate, you can't distinguish, so there's a challenge. And the vaccine doesn't seem to work really well. I mean, it isn't, there's, in the pig industry, there's good vaccines and there's some that may be a little marginal. I would consider that one marginal. Okay. Interesting, very good. Well, hey, Jim, thanks for all the information today. My pleasure, it's great to see you again. Thanks. Thank you. This is Sarah Mike Soul with the Pig Site.